Okay, in our prior um, video, we talked about the role of education generally and how it affects employment and then, ha and then how it can um, aid you in your goals obje or objectives throughout life. Well, now I want to talk to you more specifically about a business school education for uh, those seeking to uh, per pursue that as a degree. Well, let me start by saying that uh, many degrees uh, expose you to an area, um, but a bachelor's degree by its very nature is supposed to be a well-rounded degree. It's a liberal arts degree. Uh, it's supposed to expose you to so many different areas to make you a more well-rounded person. Well, the concentration or the major in business gives you that 30 to 40 hours of concentrated study in an area. So you're more proficient in the skills associated with undertaking business. Well, business itself is, is very much a generalist degree. And here's why. Because in any given field, you have the, the creation of value, okay? That um, whether you're a psychiatrist uh, um, providing uh, medical or uh, psychiatric services to an individual, whether you're a CPA providing accounting services, whether you're uh, architect or engineer providing design services, those that is the value you're delivering. Well, in any way, shape, or form, there's a business around that. In order to deliver that value um, to the customer, client, or end user, whether you're, however you're going to deliver that service or the product that you design or make to the customer, client, or end user, um, that's a marshalling of resources. It requires the um, marshalling of, of capital, uh, of assets, of money, and it also requires the marshalling of, of human capital, of, in, of individuals, your employees, your contractors, your workers, etc. So with that in mind, that's what a generalist business degree teaches you. So the very popular BBA or Bachelors of Business Administration um, introduces you to the many facets of business that that management teaches you a uh, theory of how to lead and techniques, uh, uh, excuse me, techniques for how to manage individuals and leadership teaches you techniques for how to inspire and motivate them. Accounting, how to keep up, tr keep track with the numbers. Finance, how to finance or bring in money, uh, a form of resource necessary to carry out those skills, um, etc. So any given area of business is going to um, help you in that way be more proficient at marshalling resources which will make you valuable across any given area no matter the type of value um, whether you're um, a hospital administrator um, or whether you're a uh, uh, managing the production of a given product so two completely uh, unrelated industries there, one a service industry, one a product industry, you'll still be proficient at marshalling those resources. And again, within the general business degree, any concentration that you have will give you an additional degree of, of proficiency in a given task um, that you want to undertake. So, but I always encourage uh, business students to, in some way, uh, develop their skills further, um, whether you have multiple concentrations within the business field or whether you seek something that's complementary to it in the way of a, a, say a minor okay um, you can expand your thought through a more cultural based um, minor or second major such as a, a language um, economics philosophy or some culture courses in that way that can expose you because again when you're dealing with customers clients and end users you need to understand what they're driven by what's their uh, needs goals desires uh, wants etc uh, so in that way you can better serve them you can better uh, deliver value which means you can better marshal the resources necessary to deliver that value to the customer client or end user um, and then you may want to even add more of the hard skills that are so necessary when you're going to manage uh, the individual value provider so if you're going to manage uh, a, a group of physicians or designers or uh, or computer programmers or uh, any of these technically proficient fields 
it would be very advantageous for you to apprise yourself of what they do, some of the knowledge that they have, whether it's learning something about design or computer coding or level of analytics, um, etc. Any of these can help you be more proficient again at what you're primarily tra trained at, marshalling resources to create value.